All right, Solo X DB reading part two. I figured out the issue. I just had to um, redo my power and ground wires and that was what was choking the amp down. So it's the same amp, the 2400.1 kicker KXA with the Bluetooth remote using the same Q-bomb box and let's see what this thing can do. Not bad, not bad. Let's get to a different Hertz. Yeah, I'd say they're a big improvement, even though they're in the same box as the other L715s. And the corners are leaking air like a motherfucker. But uh, yeah, bam. So let's see. Like the other test, I did the two songs. So let's do the other one since I know it has good bass drops. And I'll skip through to where it will just play the bass drops. Turn that back up. Not bad for the same box that's leaking air. Could be better. It definitely gained like five decibels compared to the other subs. Just all I did was switch out the subs. And yep, they take more power than the other ones. The other ones it kept clipping and you would smell smoke, not smoke, you'd smell the subs if I, if I kept slamming them for too long. These ones here, they, um, they're taking the extra power from, from the amp. And tonight, I'm actually gonna go pick up a, a Tar Amps 8000 and use that. And only switch out that amp, keep in the same box with, with the corners leaking air. All right, well this was a definitely um, an upgrade. I don't know if it was worth all that money for five dBs or four dBs. But I know guys, I know, once I switch the damn box out, it'll be better, blah, blah, blah. But I was just doing this for the point of if somebody had the existing box, they had L715s and they wanted to upgrade them to the L7Xs, this is the outcome. All right, y'all. Yeah.